Hey Cloud Gamers, today we are looking at Shadow of the Tomb Raider across GeForce Now, Stadia and Shadow PC. Starting off with the big speed test then, all started at the same time. So we can see Stadia is getting a head start as usual. With Shadow PC still waiting for the pop up for the start of Tomb Raider. I'm not sure why, but the PC version, same as GeForce Now, has this kind of intermediate pop-up that allows you to change the graphics kind of first. And there we go, Stadia is already at the level select screen at 36 seconds. As we just saw there, Shadow PC only just got the play tab. And there we go for the play tab on GeForce Now. Just coming up to the minute mark, Jonah, I'm an and idiot. Stadia is I'm in an now into the game temple. and playable at 1 minute 2. So that kind of seems to be the standard for Stadia, that around a minute from click into game. So that's pretty good going as far as I'm concerned. Shadow PC looks like it's finally starting to load to the title screen. There we go, at 1.22. And GeForce now is still lagging behind here. Finally at the level select screen at 131. So 9 seconds behind Shadow at the moment. Laura, how's it going? Good. There are platforms that can help me reach the top. Looking for something to weigh them down. And Shadow's taking a long time to load into the How's game, but it's finally in at 152. And GeForce now has pulled some time back there to 156, so much faster loading into the game. And there we go, so all of them are sub 2 minutes, so that's still not bad at all, but for it being just over a minute for Stadia, Stadia definitely wins the speed test still. So moving over into the graphics test then. You can also see at the top, on the Shadow PC, I've got the FPS monitor and GPU monitor. On Stadia, I can only use a stream monitor. This is the new stream monitor that doesn't interfere with the stream, so you can have a look at the open beta link that's now in the description below. And on GeForce Now, I've got the tab up, so you can see that it's the 2080D rig, and you can see the frames per second and the connection there as well. Looking at these initial sections, it is very difficult to tell them apart in my eyes. And I have found throughout that it's been very consistent. But as we look at the character model here, it does look a little bit more realistic on GeForce now with some of the shadows. Shadow PC isn't far behind, but Stadia really is pretty close here. As we stop at the freeze frame on this character, again we can see the shadows are very similar between GeForce Now and Shadow PC, but Stadia doesn't look too bad at all. This is probably one of the closest comparisons I've seen across the three of them. Normally it's very night and day. Stadia just looks a little bit darker, or giving a little bit more contrast between the highlights and the darks. But all in all, the frame rates look the same across the board. Although Shadow PC is saying that it's showing a higher frame rate, I don't think you really see it that much. As we have that fast action coming out. Again, with the dust settling here and the characters being quite close, if these weren't side by side, you'd think that they were all running kind of ultra settings, which is what Shadow PC and GeForce now are set to. So Stadia running the medium stream here at the 1400 stream, but this is downscaled back to 1080. They are all looking very good. As we look across the town here, once again GeForce now and Shadow PC do look very similar, but Stadia is not far behind. They are all looking very good.
So as we come through the Mexico scene here, another cutscene. Very close across the board. If anything, Stadia does seem to have slightly darker blacks and struggles a little bit on the high end lights, but once again, it is very close across the board and very difficult to tell them apart. Apart from the candle there with the weird GeForce now RTX shadow issue. And even with GeForce now having the RTX shadows enabled, you are not seeing a lot of difference here. Directions to find the hidden city, go south along the shore until you find the pink fish. If anything, Sadie is looking at a little bit brighter here in the middle. See those pictures a little bit clearer. For some reason, Shadow PC was a little bit blurry there. Look at this. It's the constellation Hydra, the serpent. This star is the heart. It sets. So we're just going to have a look at Lara masking up. And then we'll look at a water section. And once again, all looking very similar. So we come into the water section here, or getting out of the water, I should say. It's again looking very similar. So I think this one is just going to be a personal preference of where is best for you to play. It's looking very good across the board. Let me know in the comments which one you think looks best and what you're going to be playing it on. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like to and subscribe to Cloud Gaming Extreme before. for all of the latest across all Cloud Gaming platforms. And I will see you next time. Jonah, I made it. I'm in an underground temple. Good. Whoa. That's not good. Laura, the Trinity's blasting their way in. I can tell. It's causing tremors. There's a pyramid. I'm gonna get to the top.